How's your quarantine going? Hello everybody, this is Theron. Welcome to Minecraft Land Party. It's been a little while. Um, somebody decided to plant a birch tree. On my roof. Which is a little curious, but whatever. Um, yeah, how's it going? You may have noticed, some of you did, I have not been around, I've not been posting. Um, we'll talk about that. So, I'm going over here to the community area to go visit Crash Space, because I can't do that in real life. Welcome to Crash Space. I haven't been to Crash Space in a while um, because it is closed. Because of stay at home orders. Hi, Sparkles. So, how's it going? I hope you are doing okay. Um, that's cute. Here's our 3D printer. Um, so, what have you been up to? I have not been posting because I haven't been playing. Um, what happened when all the COVID-19 stuff started? We, uh, a bunch of people started talking, crash based people started talking. What can we do to help? And so the whole notion of 3D printing personal protective equipment came up and there was a lot of that going on and a lot of makers around the world uh, started printing face shields and face masks and designing uh, designing things like that which is awesome the idea that we could take a group of people and start addressing a significant problem which is the shortage of face masks and things that uh, doctors and nurses and frontline medical workers needed and be able to uh, start helping out um, all the manufacturing was in China and China was in really bad shape Oops, microphone tipping over hang on a second China was in really bad shape and supply chains were getting disrupted and it was just a bad situation all around. And uh, it's looking like China didn't exactly, they weren't being particularly transparent about the problems that they were having. And as a result, they just kind of were telling everyone, ah, it's fine, we've got it under control. And then they didn't. Um, and everyone is suffering for it now and they're still having trouble there it's clear based on the news coming out but um, because the world's factory is in China and pretty much everybody relies on everything being made in China and then so when suddenly China couldn't supply their own needs let alone everyone else's it kind of became a global crisis and doctors couldn't protect themselves, nurses couldn't protect themselves. And if they can't protect themselves, they have a hard time taking care of others. So it just it's just a bad situation all around. So we started looking at it from the standpoint of can we can we actually do this? Um, and we and we had some some folks at Crash Space start looking out, talking to hospitals and saying, hey. If we could actually make some stuff locally, what could you actually use? And we started going over designs. A lot of designs were put out of um, 
There's a hole in the world. A lot of designs put out that seemed kind of, you know, promising. But when when the professionals looked at it, they were like, yeah, we can't really use that for X, Y, and Z. So we came up with a couple of designs, a face mask and a face shield, plus a couple other small things that were um, actually usable, usable and acceptable, which is cool. So we started gathering up all the people who were like, okay, who's got a 3D printer at home and who's willing uh, and able to start printing stuff? Here's what we need, and we set up a drop-off spot where people could come and um, drop off the things that they made. And then we would package it up, finish it, assemble it, package it up, and get it out to hospitals and um, mobile clinics. Places that really seriously needed gear. And that's what we did. So. We've been doing that for several weeks now, and in that course of time, and I will put a link to an information site that we have um, in the show notes, in the, the video description, um, we have produced over 12,000 pieces of PPE, and for places like um, USC Keck Hospital, which has been a great partner with us, Cedar sinai Hospital, uh, and also local clinics. UCLA has been doing a lot of work downtown among the homeless, like the homeless shelters. Um, so we've done uh, delivered stuff for them. United Cerebral Palsy of Los Angeles. We've gone and made a lot of stuff for them. And um, <clears throat> so we've been we've been really busy. Oh, lots of turtles down there. Um, we've been really busy. And I've been helping to coordinate that effort from the crash space side of things. I am on the board of directors. And so I've been kind of playing liaison between this grassroots effort that we put together and the board just to make sure everything sort of, you know, is done with everyone's best interest in mind. Um, <clears throat> and so that, so it's become kind of a 24 seven job and I've been busy printing lots and lots of stuff. Um, I went to crash space when the, when the, the lockdown orders were kind of imminent and I grabbed the, one of the 3d printers, the older 3d printer with the intention of doing an upgrade on it. And then the lockdown orders happen. And then suddenly it became like, Oh, we're going to need both. So I went back and grabbed the other one and I've had both of those going pretty much around the clock, printing face masks and shields and all that good stuff. So that's why I haven't been on plane much. In fact, this I'm just sort of flying around exploring because I have not been on the server in a while. Clearly other people have. I assume Bart makes things has been on from time to time, but she's been pretty involved in all this as well. Oh, I didn't realize that the witch farm was this close to all that. Interesting. Okay, that's cool. Um, so yeah, there's that. And um, I've been I've been out of work, and of course I haven't found a job. Oh, bees! That's right, I've got bees. Hey guys. Hi. Um. <clears throat> So I've had plenty of time to do that. And of course, a lot of, I'm sure a lot of you have been, um, you know, lots of people have been sort of of the sort of opinion that, oh, we've got plenty of time to do all those things that we been meaning to do for months and months and just didn't happen. And well, of course the world kind of has its own plans. So, ooh, nice. So anyway, um, that's what's been going on that side of things. Um, and why I have not been playing much. And of course, uh, Chihuahua Power G, her office is all working remotely. So she's in the house working. So it's, we're a little bit more crowded and claustrophobic. And 
Um, so we're, you know, trying to trying to go through and do all the spring cleaning stuff that we've been wanting to do and meaning to do for a long time anyway. And of course, that all kind of got torpedoed. So it's just kind of been it's just kind of been a mess all around. Um, yeah. So that's that's that. I will put a link to our COVID response page in the description. There is a GoFundMe that we've started. Um, we've we've done pretty good on the fundraising. We've raised over thirty thousand dollars to help pay for materials. Because when somebody comes to you and says, "Hey, I want six thousand of these masks," and then you do the calculation, you go, "Oh, well, that's four metric tons of plastic." Um, it adds up and. We have to pay for that and we're not we don't want everybody to be donating their own plastic um in order to do all this work uh, people have been people have been extremely generous and if you have a 3d printer and you want to help there's a there's a link there to our go fund our, our github page with the 3d models of what to do we've got a slack server that we're coordinating all the efforts there's there's lots of ways people can help whether they're printing or volunteering to help assemble or donating money, there's lots, lots of options. Um, so that's the COVID stuff and that's been going on. And of course they keep extending the stay at home orders because the numbers keep going up. People aren't, uh, aren't cooperating, uh, very well. They are going into the beach and making each other sick again. And it's a little frustrating, but <clears throat> people are getting, uh, getting a little restless and I totally get that. I'm, I'm feeling restless too. So I don't, uh, I don't blame anyone for wanting to get out of the house. It's, uh, it's been a very frustrating several weeks. Um, but on top of that, Um, I have a second piece of news, um, and it is a little bit more, I don't know, a little bit more frustrating, personal, whatever. Um, so I was two, two and a half weeks ago, three weeks ago. Um, <clears throat> I don't know where I'm going, do I? compass down here so I can actually tell which way is home uh, <clears throat> I was standing in my living room and thinking to myself why is this spot on the war floor on the floor warm and um, realized it wasn't the floor but wherever I put my right foot it felt like that spot was warm like warmer than room temperature um, and no matter whether it was standing on room temperature flooring or cool tile in the bathroom it just it felt warm and then a day or two later I went into the fridge and picked up a glass container that had been in the fridge for days so it was nice and cool and I picked it up and I thought to myself, oh, is the fridge broken? Uh, because it felt warm. It felt like warmer than room temperature warm. So, so we had obviously some funkiness going on with the right side of my body. Um, and my right leg was feeling a little bit weak, which is not good. And <clears throat> so... Fortunately, I started to think I might be having a little MS flare up. So that was, uh, I called my doctor, my neurologist, and we did a little phone thing, phone appointment. And she was like, yeah, I want to get you in for an MRI. Um, and, but of course the last place she wanted to send me was a hospital because the hospital where I like getting my MRIs done has been a little bit of a hot spot. Um, so sent me off to a place up in the valley that I don't particularly care for. I've been there before and I don't like them, but 
needed to get the MRI and wanted to stay safe. So, <clears throat> oh, so we, um, so I went up and insurance, of course, was being a little bit of a pain in the butt and got the scan and determined that there was a, a new plaque on my C2, C3 vertebrae, I think is the, the location she mentioned. So I've got a new spot on my spine where my body is trying to kill me. And that's no fun. So, of course, that means steroids. And steroid, massive injections of steroids at home. We've had nurses coming into the house, which is scary enough because it's not just one person who, you know, I figure we can trust to stay safe and healthy, but it's a string of individual nurses and they were obviously tired and they didn't have all the PPE that they needed. So I was giving them stuff. Um, so just frightening all around. And so I spent several days receiving massive IV injections of hardcore steroids. So I'm feeling all the side effects of that. Fortunately, my symptoms are starting to go away. So I'm starting to feel better, which I'm very happy about. Um, <clears throat> so that's, uh, that's, that's that. And then, um, <clears throat> My inventory is full, so I can't even do this right. So, and now I'm on a, I'm, I'm done with the IV infusions and now I'm on a step down, step down regimen it's because you don't want to stop taking hardcore steroids super fast all of a sudden uh, but because of the steroids I am trapped at home for sure because I have basically no immune system right now and um, so if I did pick up coronavirus uh, it would it would you would get me sick for sure and <clears throat> so well Hi, Mr. B. Let's go check out the bees. Um, <clears throat> so, and I'm not supposed to be out in sunlight because that's bad. And I'm not supposed to exert myself physically because that's bad. I could tear tendons and stuff. It's no fun. And, um, and steroids give me really, really bad, like weird 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 dreams like i have a super vivid but they're like disturbing and sometimes violent and just really icky stress-filled dreams and i don't sleep well so i'm tired and roid rage is really a thing so i'm i'm feeling all cranky and wanting to yell at the dogs all the time and it's uh it's not not great um, hang on a second. Draw Power G is texting me. Oh. This is actually somewhat related. We have friends who have a, uh, a, a kid who is graduating from UC Berkeley. Um, this, uh, this spring... And they are doing their commencement in Minecraft, which are their, their graduation thing is happening in Minecraft, which I think is pretty cool. Um, so she was just texting me a, a link to that. Um, with commencement speakers and everything, but they're going to do it in Minecraft instead of doing it in Zoom like everybody else. So anyway, so I feel, I don't feel great. And so... I've been, you know, the, the MS walk, which is something that I would have brought up and I, I probably have brought up um, in in past years. I would have brought up a little bit before this time. Uh, I decided not to because it 
It's a bad time. Everyone is like struggling because people, lots of people have been laid off and lots of people have been, you know, they're out of work and they're trying to figure out how am I going to pay rent and pay for food. Um, so this is a really bad time to be asking people for money. Um, so I decided I was going to wait a little bit until the world maybe started to calm down a tiny bit. Um, doesn't seem to be calming down real fast. So, um, I'm, I'm basically going to say screw it and I'm going to, I'm going to kind of officially start my MS fundraiser, um, now and figuring that, uh, it's not going to, it's not going to go over very well because did they change this texture? It looks a little different. Um, <clears throat> but I just did something I need to do and I have, uh, all the, all my plans of doing a virtual MS walk. Um, I still want to do so so I need I need a motivation to start planning for that and part of it will be doing some of the stuff around here that uh, I was talking about earlier but what is in here that's oh, breadstone stuff um, uh, so uh, I will be doing a uh, an MS walk uh, virtually and what that means I haven't entirely worked out yet but I have ideas so I will be talking about it again later I will put a link to the MS fundraiser in my in the in the video description because we need um, yeah because it's this, this is no fun um, and while we will in all likelihood, come up with a vaccine for the coronavirus, and we'll be able to manage that globally in the years going forward because it's not going to be a one time thing. Um, MS is still an incurable disease that affects lots of people around the world, and it's no fun. Um, I'm feeling I'm feeling pretty lousy, and I wish I weren't. And um, so while I'm working to help people in the COVID situation, um, <clears throat> I need to get back to trying to raise money to help cure the, the MS situation. Um, so, so I think that's, those are the two things I wanted to talk about. I didn't really have any plans other than to just get on, make sure everything was still here. I should probably do a backup of the server. I haven't done that in a while. So, um, that's it. I don't expect, I don't have a lot of viewers and don't get a lot of, uh, people from this channel supporting the fundraiser, which is totally fine because people don't have money right now. It's a hard, hard economic times. And that's totally fine. Uh, I just want to spread it. And so um, one thing you could do if you are would like to help out but can't donate money, and even small amounts of money are, are very supportive and helpful. Uh, but if you can't, just sharing the link amongst your friends, post it on Facebook or Instagram or whatever. Um, that that'll help because that'll get it out to people who maybe do have some money and are interested in helping and are willing to do so. Um, <clears throat> but it's neither here nor there. I'm not trying to guilt anybody into doing anything. Um, <clears throat> sorry, my um, my voice. The steroids are just they're so hard on the body. It's and it's. My voice is, I've been losing my voice, which is part of one of the side effects. Uh, the other thing you could do is um, I am going through and trying to revamp my um, 
but I'll revamp the Bandcamp. Bandcamp is pretty up to date. I've, I'll put a link to that in the video description as well. And I'm still doing this thing where um, any money that I make through sales of my music as Bangsplat on Bandcamp, I will be donating to the National MS Society. Um, so if you want some music, you can go there. It's all prices pay what you want, which includes free. You can put in zero and then buy the music and download it. If you want to add it to your library, you have to pay at least a dollar. Um, and then if you, uh, and then it goes into your library and you can download it anytime, or you can use the app on your phone to listen to it. Um, I may put in a little bit of some of it here. The some of the recent, uh, my most recent one is all playing card sounds, and I don't know how much I talked about that. But the previous one, I started out by just recording some of me walking in Minecraft. It was partly a we're going to do a little prelude to the virtual MS walk. Mm, pardon me, had to yawn. Um, and I recorded some of those sounds, and then I did some processing of that and some other stuff. And so you'll hear Minecraft sounds in that. And <clears throat> previous couple ones, I used Minecraft entirely in, in different ways to make those albums. So it's, uh, it's something I've been doing a lot of lately. Um, and some of those tracks are starting to show up. I'm starting to put them up on the streaming services. So if you use Spotify or Amazon Music or Apple Apple Music, whatever they're unlimited, Google Play. If you subscribe to any of those, uh, and if you have a device, if you have a Echo device or Google Home device or whatever, just ask it to play music by Bangsplat and see what you get. Because um, I, I get kind of ultimately get paid for those as well. Um, <clears throat> not very much. If you play a track on one of those services, the artist gets a fraction of a penny. Um, it would be, if you're interested in supporting your favorite bands who are releasing music on platforms like uh, Bandcamp, and you also use services like Spotify, the best thing to do is support them both ways. Go to Bandcamp, buy the album for whatever you think it's worth. If you think it's worth a buck, think it's worth five, ten, whatever, give them some money because they get the bulk of that. And then go listen to it on the streaming services, right? So do both. That way you own the music, you can download the files and you can load it onto your phone or your tablet or whatever, computer, laptop, and then listen to it on the streaming services. The streaming services will pay them a minuscule amount. You get to pay them some money up front it's kind of a win-win for everybody. And then it increases their streams. It just, it's, that's, that's, if you want to support artists, that's, um, music artists in particular, that's the way to do it. But, um, and Bandcamp is doing a thing, uh, where I think it's the first Friday of each month. They are waiving their fees. So normally they take a, a piece of the sales. And I think it's the first Friday of each month. So the next one's coming up. It's like June 6th, I think. Um, if you go to bandcamp.com, they'll sort of, they'll tell you up on the front page. Um, and if you do that and you order on that day, the artist doesn't get it. They get all the money, save for any like PayPal fees. Um, so that's a great way of, that's a great way of supporting them even more. So um, I always, I, I believe in supporting the artists that I like listening to because times are hard for everybody and it's better that they get the money directly as much as possible than uh big music corp company taking most of it and then giving pennies out to the artists that was an unrelated rant but there you go anyway i think that's that's it i wasn't planning on actually building anything here i cleaned up my inventory a little bit oh that's why i was Okay, I will head back over there. Um, <clears throat> so that is that. Um, I do. My plan is to try and, as I feel better from the the little MS flare up, to try and balance things a little bit better on my part and uh, clean out 
a space and make a little streaming space. I would like to like start live streaming Minecraft a little bit. Uh, I have no reason why I shouldn't be able to do that. Um, so we will, I'll plan on that. I have to spend time and energy working on some things that, uh, they're annoying and I don't really want to do, but they kind of need to be done. And then that way I can spend more time doing this in a more comfortable setup because my setup where I'm doing this right now is kind of a pain in the ass. And so ideally would be able to start, uh, doing that. And then I want to do by MS walk live stream charity live stream racing money to help uh, fund research for treatment and a cure of um, of multiple sclerosis. So I think that's it. Um, yeah. If you're still watching, thank you. I'm sorry this is not the most exciting thing in the world. Um, and yeah that's it um don't know how long i'll try to try to not take several weeks for the next video but we'll see i can't promise anything and i need to play around with some villager mechanics in the meantime huh um because they did rearrange some things with the villagers. Um, yeah, see, these guys are not farmers. Whatever. Okay. Well, I think that's it. Thank you for watching. This is Theron. Links to the uh, Crash Space COVID response thing information page. Uh, which is information about what we're doing, including current stats and a link to the, the fundraiser, if you're so inclined, are, will be down in the video description. And uh, also a link to my MS Walk um, fundraiser uh, will be down there as well. And uh, <clears throat> again, if you can, uh, if you aren't able to uh, donate but you're interested in helping sharing those links particularly the uh, the MS fundraiser sharing those links is a great thing that you can do because you might not be in a position to help financially but um, other people you know might and that would be and they might actually appreciate having an opportunity to do something to help out um, so that way I think would be a good thing that's it I think um, thank you for watching again uh, this is Theron it's been Minecraft Land Party and I will see you next time All right, bye